Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are fresh from the results of Super Tuesday and hopefully a lot closer to picking the presidential nominee for the Democratic Party. Here to help break down all of this for us is you is political expert, Christine White. I was about to call yeah. her U.S. Representative. <laughs> <laughs> No. I'm about to put you in a picture. <laughs> Honey, the U.S. representation of the experts of America. Oh my God. <laughs> no, but the amazing Christine oh, White yes. is here yes. to help us understand what happened down to the Super Tuesday. We've been talking about this all break. Break it down for us. Yes. And what should we care about, about when it comes to Super Tuesday? Well, because we live in a two-party system, you know, we need, if you're going to be competitive, you have to be either a Republican or a Democrat. And so mm -hmm. the Democratic Party decides how they're going to pick their nominee. And mm -hmm. so for us to beat y'all's president, mm -hmm. we have to have like unity in theory. We mm -hmm. have to have, all have some type of unity. Mm -hmm. So every state votes and then those um, votes based on population are given delegates. Mm -hmm. So there, you have to get, it's like almost 4,000 delegates um, in all, mm -hmm. but you have to get 109,000, I'm sorry, 1,991 mm -hmm. delegates mm -hmm. to win. Mm -hmm. So we are here with, at 18 states have now voted, mm -hmm. and it looks like, although everything's not in after mm -hmm. Super Tuesday, it looks like Biden has a pretty good lead. It's not a huge strong lead, not strong. Yes. but it's a good lead. Yes. And he won in places that black women, are showing up and showing out. He won significantly in Tennessee, in um, North Carolina. Of course, it was the South Carolina win that really brought him mm -hmm. back because yes. he had fallen off and right. folks were like, I'm undecided. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what really happened is as they started to see him get a little bit stronger in the yeah. debates, mm -hmm. they came back. I yeah. think that last Democratic debate kind of, he was kind of like, I'm going to talk <laughs> and I don't care what nobody says. Right. <laughs> yeah. We were waiting for that. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the Democratic primary nomination process, of course. Who's left and where do we go from this point moving forward? Yeah. So all of the states have to vote and then five territories in the Washington, um, the District of Columbia, mm -hmm. Washington, D.C. So what we're waiting on is for several more states over the next four or five months are going to vote. Mm -hmm. But momentum is a is a thing, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. After Joe Biden won South Carolina, we saw so many people flood to the polls and vote for him mm -hmm. in, in mass when we did not think that would happen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen next is there's a few more states that are going to vote mm -hmm. um, next week, and then there are even more over April and May, and then in June, hopefully we'll have a solid um, candidate, a, solid candidate mm -hmm. a majority, mm -hmm. and we'll go to convention in July in Milwaukee with a majority, and everybody will rally together that so person. that we can really yeah. do what we need to do to beat y'all's president. Well, <laughs> huh, we president. Didn't, no, I, now, you know, we didn't vote for this man <laughs> who currently has Listen. office at all, child. We, we don't know this man. I know. We don't even know his two We don't. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> but anywho, so how would those results uh, actually impact the people who have yet to vote? I mean, I think that black folks have been solidly behind Biden for a long time. The question was, were young people going to go with Bernie? Were young black people going to, going to go to Bernie? So now you heard um, Sanders say early on that he was going to make his campaign more black and that it was too white and mm. that it was too male. And so he really did a lot of work in South Carolina to have, you know, it didn't work, but to nope. try to get a lot of support. Mm -hmm. And we saw that it went to Biden. So mm -hmm. black folks are coming back around. Uh, we aren't as progressive as mm -hmm. some of our progressive counterparts. And so we tend to be a little bit conservative and we don't feel like we really have the right, particularly your aunties and them, those of us above you know, 50. Mm -hmm. Like we don't have space and time. We can't risk all of this uh, being progressive. We gotta stay straight and narrow, be moderate, mm -hmm. and, and get the things that we were asking for. So what I think is gonna happen is that now that it looks like Biden is in the lead, the folks who are solidly in the um, Democratic uh, base mm -hmm. are gonna really come out for Biden. Mm -hmm. But what about, okay, so we, we talk about black women coming out in droves to vote all the time. We're always mm -hmm. very, um, you know, we're, we're always very adamant about going out to vote. But then there's always this kind of <coughs> dissension between black men and black women when voting is concerned. I hear a lot of black men talk about how they felt that, you know, when Obama was in office, that he didn't do what, you know, that he didn't do what he was supposed to do. And so a lot of them side with Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. What do you think that it means for Biden, considering that he was the running buddy of Obama and possibly, if he gets in office, some of the same 
uh, concepts will be implemented in legacy, I mean, not legacy, legislation. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what do you think that means for him with those kinds of voters that feel like Obama didn't do what he was supposed to do? Black people that feel like Obama didn't do what he was supposed to do. I, I mean, you're absolutely right. I'm a progressive. I love Bernie Sanders. I love Elizabeth Warren. I think that it's going to take progressives to push Joe Biden where we need him to be mm -hmm. to make sure that he's implementing the real <laughs> issues that black that face black people. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have seen polls of what America cares about, but they're not really including black men. And so black men have a have a rational and a reasonable yes. reason to yeah. think that this government is not working for them. Mm -hmm. um, but what we can do is, and particularly as black women who tend to be a little bit more engaged in the process, is really instead of chastising our black men, really find out how we can organize them yes. better and also invest in the groups that are really touching and supporting black men yeah. in this process so that they have a voice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about um, black ver voters being taken for granted. We talked about mm -hmm. that yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there any way that this that we can avoid this from happening or mm -hmm. stop this from happening? It's a struggle. Yes. I think that the biggest thing we can do is organize. Like, I believe that candidates matter mm -hmm. and that we should always support our candidates. Mm -hmm. But candidates are not who make change, and the party is yes. definitely not where change comes from, right? right. The change comes from the <laughs> grassroots organizations that work on the ground every single day, and mm -hmm. those are the folks that we need to be supporting. Mm -hmm. So we saw in Virginia that um, it almost the, the Democratic Party electorate almost doubled from 2016. Mm -hmm. That's due really because of an organization called New Virginia Majority, who have been fighting in communities of color mm. um, on the margins to get folks engaged. And we have organizations like that in Georgia mm -hmm. who are fighting. So we have to organize and participate yeah. in these electoral um, nonprofits and make sure that they are getting to the people who really are on our side. So grassroots effort. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All across yeah. the board. Absolutely. Yeah. That's how Obama won. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But not just necessarily with the party, with the organizations <laughs> that are doing the work in the streets, mm -hmm. 300 65 days a year. Well, yeah. Thank you so much, Christine, for all of this valuable information. Mm -hmm. We definitely uh, want to keep everybody informed, and we appreciate the breakdown for Super Tuesday. Yes, Good up for thank Christine you. White, everybody. Yes. Coming up next, if you find yourself settling for a non-committal man, Ooh. stop it. We're talking about it in our full circle discussion next. Uh-oh, Quad. That's going to be good. My God. Oh,